Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I will uh, tell some of the incident that has recently happened with one of the cognizant junior employees. He got laid off uh, due to not getting the project. So in this video, I'll talk about a few companies uh, that has very uh, bad policies. Uh, I mean, for bench I mean, that bad bench policies, and that is not that is not so good for uh, junior people. So possibly. Uh, candidate has multiple offers freshers they have multiple offers they should not consider those companies uh, and there are some list of good companies i found so this will be based of my experience and this might be different so this is continue like you know uh, totally my experience whatever i have observed uh, it might be slightly different to uh, some other people as well but uh, uh, let us uh, first you know see the video so this is a video that has been recently posted this is a new channel only one video is there and 180 subscribers and I've seen 34,000 people already uh, uh, viewed this video so here a candidate i think he's from mechanical background he joined cognizant and he was not getting a project for 100 days so there is there, there are two uh, hr basically tried i mean this is uh this is a very, very, very pathetic video so where he is trying to uh, begging basically for giving some extension but hr are stubborn so they are not willing to give more time so uh, and there are a few comments i have i saw like this video is not genuine because this hr are not present in linkedin that i don't believe that is true because major majorly like you know in cognizant pcs on all services companies their hr not uh, you cannot basically compare their hr to like you know amazon microsoft or google hr they usually don't uh, use uh, LinkedIn or uh, if used, then possibly giving some different name, not with the like you know, usual name for some reason. Anyway, so I believe this uh, video is real. And if you see the video, you can see the brutality like, you know, of uh, bench. I mean, if somebody in, in bench uh, that too, like, you know, for a junior employee where he has very little experience and for a hiring manager, it is slightly difficult to uh, absorb a a junior employee with one year or six months of experience because client expectations are really high. So that case, uh, it is very difficult for uh, that person to get a get a project. And if not, then uh, like you know, uh, possibly it, it will happen with other employees as well. So this is all about this video. A, a candidate is forcing for resign, and uh, otherwise he told he will be terminated, and. Uh, so and that candidate in this video the candidate was begging for the extension that he may get a project within seven or ten days so that is all about this video now uh, coming back to if somebody has an, uh, somebody encountered this situation where he's not getting the project so first thing first uh, like you know uh, you need to be aggressive so whatever you have uh, inside the company uh, like you know in your teams or in your communicator tried right that you are you are uh, like you know, looking for so and so job roles or so and so technology you have and you are looking for a role in your uh, like you know uh, i mean uh, whatever internal portal you have apply at least 10 15 whatever you see and try to communicate ping people try to drop in email try to be aggressive try to do whatever you feel and try to at least get into a project or billable project specifically client client project so that may help in uh certain like you know uh, way and one more thing is uh, while people are on bench possibly they need to also focus on learning so maybe some certification some internal training may help it is also help like you know for uh, upcoming career growth so that is this is one trick i think like you know for some some reason uh, like since we are going through a kind of a recession so this is very difficult even if uh, for us also like an experienced personnel but uh, like that may be uh, i'm not sure whether it, it may help uh, to someone now coming back to our video topic basically so list of companies bad for the freshers so i i believe cognizant accenture and cognizant both are literally bad for the freshers the problem with uh, cognizant it uh, like you know is inf infamous like uh, bench period so earlier it was 45 days now in this video they are telling like, like it's 35 days so after 35 days they can ask the employee to uh, resign and if they are not resigned, they will ask that they will send a termination letter. So termination letter means a delivering letter, your termination staff will be mentioned. So usually company doesn't terminate employees 
because if they terminate they need to like inform the respective higher authority like you know indian government or the respective state government termination is uh, comply with labor law and everything so usually they force employee to resign so uh, like cognizant has i mean as of as per this video it is 35 days and accenture earlier it, it has uh, approximate 90 days of uh, bench period uh, so so in cognizant it's called pool and in accenture it's called itp internal talent pool so which is nothing but the bench but these days i am uh, i got a news that it has like 45 days accenture now what accenture usually do once one month is over so they usually give uh, four weeks after that they try to like you know pressurize the employee to uh, relocate to different location and join a project uh, so like you know bangalore people will ask possibly to go to hyderabad hyderabad will ask to go to chennai like that so that i have observed and for freshers these two company are uh, not good due to its uh, bad bench policies now there are certain company i feel it is slightly better for the freshers if you see the company i have listed down the first one would be infosys i have given tcs but uh, infosys very good in terms of their initial uh, learning and uh, their pro their project allocation is slightly better uh, in, in compared to accenture accenture gft after accenture gft program uh, usually project are allocated randomly so nobody knows whether you will get a java or dot net or testing or any other domain but here infosys is slightly better and uh, their their bench policy is also better tcs is also good uh, they don't usually uh, force people to resign due to uh, this bench policy we uh, give ample time to get a project in big four i have observed uh, like you know ey and pwc is slightly better in terms of bench period and they usually give ample time if employees uh, if a fresher is not getting enough opportunity or not getting project possibly they will uh, ask to create a like asset or some tools in their uh, free time or in their time in those time basically so that they can showcase that he is doing something takem is uh, is also good but problem with takem is i observed this majorly like you know support project so if you want to be a developer or kind of a, you want to be a development role then uh, avoid takem but for freshers takem is not bad and takem does have lot of takem does project does have uh, shipped so if you are joining takem make sure it, it would be possible that you need to work on night shift and uh, nagaro is very good in terms of project in terms of technology so if you are freshers you may join nagaro nagaro and one more is like you know, any mid size product based company is the best for uh, uh, like you know freshers so tier 3 freshers so if you are uh, getting any job like you know samsung arman or any of those uh, product based company of bangalore so do, don't have a second thought join there try to be at least two or three years try to learn a specific tool or technology then you may switch so uh, this is my take on this particular video and uh, i hope it does help to uh, some freshers and uh, if you have any question do let me know in the comment below thank you